YouTube, welcome back to another video. We're back here at Black Point. If you guys notice that bridge in the background, it's pretty much almost the entrance to like Nevada going that way. And going that way, you go to Vallejo and Sears Points, all that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be going for striped bass. It looked like you guys really enjoyed the last video I made over there at Slaughterhouse Point. And man, that place was uh, amazing. Just catching that 23 inch, I was happy. You know, caught it under like five minutes there. So stoked. So we are in a shelter in place, but that doesn't apply to fishermen, I feel like. <laughs> it shouldn't apply to them. But um, yeah, we're gonna be going straight bass once again. I felt like the last video, there should have been a little bit more content to it, but hopefully I can change that today. So I have two choices of bait today. I got ghost shrimp and mud suckers. I'm gonna do a top and bottom rig. I'm not sure what they're gonna be hitting on, but I'm gonna put that mud sucker at the bottom and put that ghost strip at the top. And uh, let's see which ones they attack. So let me get rigged up. My stuff is, you know, obviously not set up. Wait for the girl to come out here and we'll get back to you guys. Peace. Okay guys, for my choice of rig, I'm going to be using this top and bottom rig. This leader I actually found at the um, Slaughterhouse Point. You know, it was just on the ground laying there. It looked fairly, still fairly, fairly usable. So I took it and now I'm using it. So another man's trash is another man's treasure. So obviously I'm going to have my weight here at the bottom. And it has two of these steel slash t knots right here and i attach my 20 pound tests you know fluorocarbon here and i got my mud sucker on the bottom and then there's another one here at the top and i got my ghost shrimp right there i'm just gonna throw this sucker out and hope for the best see if we can catch something on it yeah this tide needs to come in a little faster it's taking forever to come bunch of ducks over here bunch of ducks it's probably like 30 ducks right here all right and i'm just gonna throw this one out like that and both of them stayed on should be good scare the ducks away sorry and now we wait okay guys so if you guys never been here before san pablo bay is all the way over there and it pretty much feeds into here and then Pelham River's all the way down there. So probably like 20 minutes away, it just goes all the way in. And uh, the tide's gonna come in uh, roughly around 12.30 and then you can see that it's super low right now. And you can see the last tide where it was at, it came up to like here, obviously, where it's all darker. And um, yeah, it's gonna come up probably like five feet. And I think high tide's around 5.40. And it's like 12 30 right now so the tide is coming in right now so hopefully that tide brings in some massive fishes so all i gotta do now is wait my line's in the water i got that ghost shrimp up top and i got that mud sucker at the bottom so that mud sucker is going to be on the mud and just squirming around and once i see any type of uh detection which that's mud sucker if he feels any type of danger he will move around and that's, that bell is going to just start ticking slightly. Hopefully a big fish takes it. So, yep. All I got to do is wait. So I'll see you guys when I got a fish on. He was on it.
serious. Got him. I got him. Come on. No. Is he on it? Yeah, he's on it. He's on it. He did come back. I don't know what it is. It's a striper. Is it a keeper? It might be a keeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty sure it's a keeper. Yeah. Super cool. Super cool. He was chilling right there, right by the bait. Let's measure him. He went for the, the mud sucker. That's the bottom, right? Yep. Yeah. Let's measure him real quick. Probably take 30 minutes to catch. Tip of the tail. Wow. No way. He's like 18 and a quarter. We'll put him on a stringer. But I'm not sure. This is a really tight one. You catch something bigger, I'll release them. Okay, guys, just rebaited up. Back with the ghost shrimp and a mud sucker on the bottom. Caught that one under probably 20 minutes of being in the water. He hit it once, and uh, he was staying around that area. And then I put my pole down. They came back for it, so. Get another cast out there. It was 18 and a quarter. So think about these fishes. If they do die, they do shrink. So I'm gonna try to keep him alive as long as possible. He's on a stringer in the water right now. But let's see if he can catch us another one. Hopefully he'll be bigger and we can release the smaller one. Okay guys, so the bait that I'm using today only had three mud suckers and three gross shrimp. I brought these back from Rio Vista I went there yesterday trying for striped bass. I didn't have no luck, but the craziest part is that I caught a steelhead. I do have a picture of it. I'll show you guys that right now. And yeah, it was an amazing feeling. I thought it was a little dink, but it wasn't. But I was like, oh my God, is that a rainbow? I didn't know they had rainbows in here. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a steelhead and it was probably like 20 inches in length. Put up a little fight, it wasn't crazy, but uh, man, yeah, this is one of my like dream fishes to catch on a bucket list but you know i caught that on the ghost shrimp i wasn't expecting to catch that it was pretty insane but yeah that i brought that bait back from here all the bait survived i didn't have no aerator i left them on outside on some ice and it all survived so yep now we're here at black point we caught this 18 and a quarter i think it's bigger i didn't pinch the tails together it's probably 19 inches in length he's surviving on this stringer I don't want them to die and shrink, so if fishing game comes out here, they're gonna do some crazy measurements, saying it's a um, illegal size, but uh, I will get a closer up on the measurement to show you guys that it is a keeper, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little measuring up close. We're gonna pinch the tail this time. I'm gonna get the tip of his bottom lip. Pinch his tail. Let's get this measurement going. Okay, let's close him out. Yeah, he's 19 inches, roughly. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. Let's get him back in the water. Something is on my bait. Take off this bell because I might interrupt what's going on, but something was, oh, it's on it. It just took it. 
just took it when I was taking off the bell. Come on, take it again. I just saw my line just beaming out. I think he's near it. Something's going on around here. Yep, yep. I'll keep it in my hand. The mustaker might be running from something. What do you think, Mama? Should we leave? We should leave, huh? Yeah. All right, guys, so I think that's gonna be it. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any more. We had a few more bites, but we only had that one fish on the line that came in and was committed. My fish pool is still in the water, but we're gonna pack up. But you guys already know, like and subscribe, keep it real and keep it really. Thanks for watching, peace. Searching for the